Hello, welcome back to the second tutorial of Transition to Turbulence. Okay, so in this case, we are going to work now in the three element airflow. So you have here all the files and some references. So let's see what we're going to do, okay? So in this case, we have another classical case. This is targeted now for the aerospace aeronautical community. Okay, so we have the three element airflow, okay? And I have to say that this is as difficult as it is it can get because we're going besides modeling now transition to turbulence we also would like to capture the stall maximum uh, leaf ang uh, angle of attack now maximum cl coefficient and that is difficult to to capture in air falls okay so here we, we we have a few references and just to, to show you the price that you need to pay to resolve transition to turbulence is this look at that this is an extremely fine mesh okay the y plus that we're talking about here is something about less than 0 0.1 okay and also with a good resolution in the uh, stream wise direction okay so this case would run at uh, Reynolds number two 3.5 million the mac number is low so we'll take it as a uh, incompressible nevertheless we're going to use the, the the compressible solver but it can be approximated as an incompressible so we'll recall the 0 0.2 the mac number and the uh, particular case that we're going to run is uh, this value, okay? Very close to the maximum lift coefficient. So uh, I invite you after seeing this case running just to rerun to a different angle of attack and try to reproduce to capture the, the physical behavior. You have the references there, but also think you are attaching a file with different angle of attack and CLCD, okay? So basically this is what we have. Okay, so see that we have using the transition SST, this behavior, and then the experiments. And I was mentioned that is in CFD, after all these years that we have been doing CFD, okay, like more than 30 years, capturing this is very difficult. In particular, the maximum lift, but also capturing the behavior, the stall behavior. So see that this is an a brute uh, stall uh, pattern here. To capture that was very difficult and usually you need to use this kind of transition model. model. So we're somewhere here, okay, the case running close to the maximum stall. See that also we have a very good agreement when it comes to, to the experiment. Okay, and basically let's take a look at uh, some fields, some colors, okay, besides now the quantitative uh, results. So see that here you have the flow entering here and you have a uh, uh, second second uh, secondary flow okay well actually you have here the free stream and then see that you have kind of this jet here so remember that is you are going to do a plot here with your normalized velocity you're going to get a, a, a strange behavior here but it's just due to that secondary stream okay and when we look at the intermittency field this is what we see so see that remember where you have more a zero means laminar and see here that you have all this region laminar and then you have the onset of the transition to turbulence to turbulence and the same here okay and what is interesting that there are some results okay so there are this region the length this tension as the laminar is known so you can compare with the references and then just for completeness as i mentioned you can also do this kind of plot so this is relatively easy now you know you have there the geometry okay or you can extract the coordinates from the geometry that you have there okay there is no problem so you just plot a line normal to the wall and that's all then do the sample wall shear stresses shear velocity and so on and look at that in this case something here we have a very good agreement laminar the blending okay and then you have here the turbulent region okay and then the wake here and then you have this strange behavior but remember that you have a secondary flow so this is that is due to that but this is a very nice validation and then comparing also the pressure coefficient okay with the distribution the pressure distribution that we have okay so see that again we have a, a very good agreement some differences here but this is very satisfactory so this is what we're going to do okay a very nice case uh i think it's a little bit it, it is economical but it requires iterating a little bit so if you download the cases you're going to have the file so here you see that you have the fluent case set up to run ready to run so you have all the files here validations and outputs then you have also a geometer okay so you are if you want to to do your own measures just to get the the dimensions not where to put where to do the sampling you have here the meshes, the clean meshes with some settings and then some support material also. So that's all for the introduction to this case. Thank you for your attention. See you next time. Bye.